Welcome to this video. We will be targeting Jenkins in this video. I'll be showing you the techniques of getting a happy little shell. If you don't know how to, then this video is going to be extremely valuable for you. So sit back, relax, and please enjoy the video. Since this is a 401, that means that it's unauthorized, right? So I'm excluding the response. There we go. That already worked. So yeah, awesome, 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 awesome. So I'm excluding the response type 401. Um, because the response code 401 because if not then I will just uh, I will just see a bunch of hits like this which I'm not interested right so it's difficult to track this way but yeah so this is awesome this worked on the first try so let's see the user was the user was Spongebob so let's see I don't know, I'll, I guess you can put it like this. Uh, port forward and a Jenkins server hosted in Docker on port 8080. Root forced hit like so. And then admin sponge bomb. Awesome. So let's uh, attempt uh, connecting to it. Whoops, fuck, I forgot to close that. We might have dosed the server, which which is not what I wanted. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we might have dosed the server, which is very unfortunate. So I will just pause until uh, it gets back up again, or I will have to reset the box, so yeah. But you saw the methodology regardless, and uh, that worked successfully. So, so the service that went uh, up and running again, so that is excellent. So if you're not familiar with uh, Jenkins, there is actually a way to decently reliable get a shell. So let's see if we can uh, do this. So let's see. Jenkins. Reverse. Yeah. So the, the script console. So go to manage Jenkins and script console and then add a Groovy script. So right now it seems that the uh, server is not particularly responding. Hmm. Yeah, it seems uh, seems time at the moment. Either maybe the VPN is dying or have to set up uh, pivoting again. <clears throat> we can see that this job is running, so it really should be fine. We're listing the jobs. Hmm. 
So we can kill this job by killing the uh, ID. So we run jobs now, we see there is no jobs. And now it should be reconnected, so let's try again. And there we go. So, um, the tunnel was a bit uh, messed up. So once again, what really interested here uh, is pretty much the script console. But this server is once again very slow and unresponsive, which uh, is a bit tedious. There we go. So this is the uh, script console. So you see this is uh, for Windows specifically. The string CMD, CMD XE. And then you can see there's a partial one-liner at the bottom. Hmm. But the script console is essentially what we want to use uh, to get a shell. So let's see if we can find something related to Linux. River is there. Hmm. Let's see. So this is the script console. <laughs> Once again, an example of a shell with uh, with Windows, it seems. We want something for Linux specifically. This looks. Uh, more what I was thinking about. So let's try something like this. Pretty much just have a listener and then uh, run a script. The page is still responsive, that's very good. So that's the right IP. So I'm just following the guide, right? They broke it up with uh, lines like so. And then let's do four for three. Now we have a listener. It's me. I think this looks fine. Let's try running it. I 
think the IP is correct. Yeah, it is. We can try something like this. But I don't, I think that's the false. Uh, just a bit of pivoting, confusing me a bit. I think it should be the... Uh, just a normal IP of ours. Like so. The quotes. The quotes was copied wrong from the uh, from the article. So this looks a lot more correct. It's small details like this can definitely make a huge difference when you copy from random articles. Uh, it's definitely looking better and there we go. Just like that, just fixing the quotes and boom, we are running as Jenkins. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video, but once you have completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused with the offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle, where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.